Rachel? Yeah, Michael. Yeah, it's really me. So, how are you? Bored. Bored out of my fucking mind. I can't believe. What are you doing these days? The same old thing, politics, aunt. Actually, there's this big Stormont anniversary rally down there this weekend. Leah and I were thinking of maybe... I know it's not much notice. Are you kidding? I have a spare room now. Yes, come. Cool. And there's someone else here who wants to talk to you. Michael? Yeah, how are you? Sarah? Yeah. What's going on? Absolutely nothing. I mean, what are you... Last I heard you were in New York. Was. But I'm moving back out here again. I have no fucking idea where. So you're coming down then too, right? No. Of course. I can't wait to see you. Plus, I'm bringing along a friend. I'm getting married, Michael. No shit. Why don't you ever write and fill me in on these insignificant little events in your life? So you and Peter are finally... No, Greg. You'll meet him. Friday, I think. Here, Greg has to be here. Yeah, Michael. Great. I can't wait. See you then. Drive careful. I was sure you'd crashed and we're dead on the highway. Have I ever been on time for anything? Leah, has your hair gotten spikier or am I just getting more conservative in my old age? Huh? Well, it is hip to be square nowadays. Sarah, you look great. Thanks. You look like shit. Michael, this is Greg. Greg, Michael. Your mystery fiancé. You a musician, too? No, I... You know I never mess with my own kind. I'm an art student, sort of. I'm hungry. Let's eat. good clubs? They all suck. Movies? Sorry, films? The cinema is dead. 
Isn't Cosby on? There's always Trivial Pursuit. I have a great idea. Let's sit around and reminisce about the good old days. Saved. The male stripper's finally here. What the fuck are you doing here? Glad to see me. Alex. I need a place to stay, just for a couple of days. No. No way. Come on, Michael. No, Alex. Michael, we're bored. Just a second. It's been six months. You miss me? I can't fucking believe you. Coming back here after... Michael, I need your help. Michael, what? Hi, Alex. Hi, Rachel. What do you want from Michael now? Come on. We're gonna do MDA and go roller skating. Call the fucking paramedics! <laughs> I'm dying! Yeah. What happened to Sarah and Greg? I think they're back there watching the sidewalk row. I'm fucking in the bushes! <laughs> oh shit! Here, I'm oh, kissing fuck, naked. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 it's always an eater, what? Oh, oh wow. Sometimes.
Everyone I know is just barely surviving in this age of prosperity. I feel like I'm still looking for it. Desperately looking for it. Only I have no fucking idea what it is anymore. You getting another band together? As always. How about you? Whatever happened with your film? What film? I'm junking it. It just all suddenly struck me how vain ridiculous it was. I'm embarrassed to even talk about it. At least you're not too hard on yourself. So, what's with Greg? Is it love? Good sex. I don't know. He puts up with me. Sounds like one of those dangerous relationship things to me. Whatever you want to call it, it exists. For the time being, at least. I've run out of things to say to you. What do we have left to talk about? Fuck talking. Let's make love again. Call it fucking, at least, when that's what it is. Okay. Fuck talking, let's fuck. What do you want? I want you to break up with me because I'm too insecure to do it for myself. But I love you, Rachel. I love you too. I don't want to have to rely on anyone. Sometimes I feel so small, like I'm barely here at all. I want to go up there, or out there. Have to be. Where would we be without all this adolescent angst? I like to consider it transcendental depression. I've gotten used to it. I, I don't know how to be any other way. I've been feeling this weird complacency lately. Like, I have no future. I have no past. I just have a presence that's really, really fucked up. You need to see it from the outside. Get out of your own head. Yeah, I'm already out of my mind. And out of cigarettes, too. Fuck. Hey, what are you doing out here? Nothing. You okay? I feel like putting my head through a plate glass window. Besides that, though, I'm fine. It's lay on me. The usual. You want to talk about it? You want to listen? Okay, I'm done. Don't think we met formally. Greg, Barrett. Alex, Michael. Well, nice to meet you.
sometimes I think I'm really losing it. I mean, sitting here staring at these four walls and, and I can feel myself going mad. We're all just hanging by a thread. It's tough being the new lost generation. Pepsi doesn't even want us anymore. Me decade dropouts aerobicizing towards Armageddon. Shit. Give her a joint, she turns into Susan Sontag. Think we're ever gonna grow up? Why? It just means getting older and dying. Listen to this nihilistic despair. So, do Michael and I get to throw your bridal shower? Fuck oh, off. Marriage, house, kids, oblivion. The American dream come true. It's crazy. I can't even conceive of what I'll be doing tomorrow. Do you think that has anything to do with being born under the shadow of the A-bomb? I think it comes more from being hopelessly neurotic. I'm really glad you're here. I needed the company. I'm glad you're bad. I'm glad I was in crawling distance of bed. It's been a long night. I died an hour ago and nobody bothered to tell me. Coming? I want to finish this cigarette. I don't know. I feel edgy. I insist on staying up with you, but I'm not going to be able to maintain verticality here much longer. Go on to sleep, both of you. Good night, Michael. Good night. Why do we fight so much? What's going to happen to us?
Not much. What's the matter? Time in a month, huh? I don't remember inviting you to stay over. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I don't know why I have to make everything so hard. Come in here. You don't have to fuck for room and board anymore, okay, Alex? You're a shithead. Coffee's the only indispensable man in the whole world. You're up to the crack at noon. Couldn't sleep. Too much sex? Not getting enough? Not wanting any. Any food around here? Doubt it. Watch out for anything green or furry. Don't you have any sausage or anything? I'm about to start my period, and I think I need the animal protein. Haven't you heard meat is murder? I found some ham. Bladder's exploding out here. Hold on to your overheat the stick. If I squeeze it any tighter, it'll turn blue and fall off. Go pee outside. Hi. Where the fuck are you going? To run, clear my head. Try it loaded 45. Come on. You know the guy who wrote all those running books dropped dead of a heart attack at 40? Nothing. I'm dead to me, at least. You'll have to scratch and claw to beat me to the pot. Oh, yeah. oh that's a uh, decaf, by the way. Fuck you. No question. My days of recreational sex and drugs are over. Mine are so far gone, I forgot what they were like. The long lost youth. So, what thrill a minute activities are on the agenda for today? Michael, the cheery tour guide. It's terrifying, I know, but Greg wants to do the Southern California thing and go to the beach. No. Leia wants to do something as obnoxious and touristy. Shop Melrose for overpriced souvenirs for a poser friends back home. Well, could be Universal Studios and not Berry Farm. Don't give him any ideas. I am hungry. Do you do anything besides eat, piss, and wine? Yes. Why don't we all grab breakfast on Melrose? You and Leia can stay in shop while we head out to the beach. Like Frankie and Annette, rad, man. <laughs> Greg will be running for like hours. You guys gone ahead though, and by the time you get back, I ought to have mainlined enough caffeine to be able to endure a day of fun in the sun. I want to start a revolution. Where'd that come from? I'm serious. That'll wake people up. Make them think. No one questions anything. No one ever asks why. Why am I sitting here watching this shit spewing out of the TV? 
Why are my tax dollars going to slaughter babies in Central America? Why is the president such a fucking moronic asshole? Questioning is only the first step. Action is what's really essential. You guys are like the psychate and insomnia, only without the aerobics. Imagine what would happen if every man, woman, and child spent like an hour a day, just one hour, while stuck in traffic, doing the dishes, or going through the same old in and out routine as that, just thinking about how fucked up society is and how it could be improved. Well, that would sure make the population a little unhappier. Discontent is the catalyst for change. Where do you get all these slogans from? Webster's Dogma Phrasebook? People don't give a shit, and they like not giving a shit. It's the dogma you dog in the world. So what's your alternative, Michael? Sit back and watch as it all goes straight to hell? That's a pretty grim prospect. There you go. Sorry, but I'd much rather spray paint futile graffiti and march in meaningless rallies than do nothing. At least I sleep better at night. Well, there's always my favorite political act, the burning Bruce Springsteen album. Suppose we woke up one morning and the sky was striped. The very yet flat. Must be wild. You're weird. Where's Sarah? Going for a walk. How introspective. She alright? I don't know. I asked. She doesn't want to talk about it. You ever hear Might All? Fuck off, Alex. She's just going through a lot of shit right now. I just made me feel like it's not my fault. I'm bored with everything. Every single day we wake up together, fuck the same way, eat the same thing for breakfast. Right, let's go get frozen yogurt. You don't listen to a thing I say. What flavor do you want? I think we should see other people. I'm getting care of almonds. I can't stand being a couple anymore. No, smoke a fudge. And go fuck yourself. I'm taking the bus back. There are a lot of cops around. Welcome to Nazi America. Shit. The other day, I wake up to find the parking fascists have immobilized my car for a bunch of tickets I can't afford to pay. So I go to call them to beg for mercy, and GD's fucked up my bill and disconnected my phone. I, I run across the street to use the payphone. This butt ugly stormtrooper pig gives me a fucking ticket for jaywalking. So finally, I get to the phone. It's my last quarter. So what'd you do? I went back to bed. God, I hate cops. Which would test the administration's new policy. The Pentagon announced that the new rules expanding U.S. naval protection to neutral shipping began today. That came as this U.S. protected convoy passed Hi. through the Strait of Hi. How was the beach? Cold. Melrose? Helen? Where's Leia? What's wrong? Headache. Me too. No Tylenol. I'm taking a shower. I'm gonna stick my head in the oven. You guys are as much fun as a Republican convention. <laughs> Tormenting yourself. Who else am I going to torment? Life really sucks.
It stuck my tongue. Not enough letters, shithead. Try to kiss my labia. How about lick my shaft? You trying to make me lose my lunch? Yeah. What is this? It's the Anway Hotel. We're just laying out our career strategy. And working on upgrading our resume. Where's God? I think he went out to read poetry under a tree or something. Not funny, Leia. He thought so. <laughs> he probably cried when John Belushi died, too. I'm beat. I'm taking a nap. That's the best idea I've heard all day. Michael? I'm lost. Sarah said you make films. I used to. What happened? I found out I was allergic to bullshit. So what do you do? Eat. There's got to be something more to life than that. Like? Art? Right. I don't know. I feel so adrift. Like Sarah's the only anchor in my life, and she has no idea what's going on. Who does? We're all just biding time until we die. Anybody ever accused you of being a little on the gloomy side? Actually, I was going to ask this friend of mine about that, but he uh, committed suicide before I had the chance. Ever wonder what happened to kill off all these guys? So full of feeling, I think sometimes I'm going to explode. But I can't write, paint, play music. I have no outlet for all this pent-up emotion. Go out and kick over garbage cans or something. I'm in. Feel lucky. You could be too sick of it all to want to bother. I just don't know what to do with my life. Oh, fuck. These sensitive guys want to play cards or have an angst jerk-off session. I feel left out, lacking the proper equipment. Now, what I read on the bathroom wall, Throw your life in a bin. What are you guys, 12 years old? Hello, what's with that hat? I'd rather be trendy than boring. I'd rather be dead than trendy or boring. This is like bad partridge, you family reruns. I'm out. I need to breathe some air that's not male-dominated. I still don't know what to do with my life. I'm fed up. Everything, from sex with Leia to the international political scene. It's all such utter chaos. I feel so anxious about the future, filled with a sinking dread. Nausea. Yeah. Nothing makes sense. Nothing's working out. I mean, whatever happened, we used to be so directed. We had goals. We knew what the hell we wanted to do. We left college. I 
want to go away, far, far away, and never be heard from again. Weren't you going to go to El Salvador or something? Nicaragua. It fell through, like every other plan I've ever made. Maybe you ought to just do it, take off and leave it all behind. What's there to lose? Yeah. Fuck. Leia. Hi. Did you put some clothes on? You look like an ad for one of those 976 porn lines. I'll leave you two to your whatever. Hudson? Don't want to spoil my dinner. You're watching. I'm not into cock, okay? I did this, like, all the time. 
sometimes like three times a day. God, I was a horny little shit. No one ever left this boy from Steve Dossiers and all of them. The ones you lived with? Wendy and I were together for a couple of months in Athens. Greece? Georgia. It was no big deal, basically a physical thing. It was probably the best fuck I ever had. He had a really huge dick. Come on, you know we have good sex. Don't make this into a big male ego thing. Sorry. It comes with owning a penis. I love you. Doesn't that override idiotic sexual prowess contest? I'm still a little curious as to how I rate. Oh, God. Wouldn't you be? Not at all. Then again, I'm not blessed with an insecure piece of meat dangling between my legs. Well, am I a contender? Third runner-up? In the horse race at all? I refuse to answer such a stupid question. You're in the top ten. Okay. You fucked her. I can tell by the way she smiled when she saw you. So I have. So what? Why didn't you tell me? Because I really didn't think it mattered, especially in a relationship as open and mature as ours. But her, I mean, her poetry is such shit. I thought you liked her stuff. That was before I heard her read. Christ, Leah, you sound like some clingy, parasitic housewife. I just want to know how many arrogant lesbian poets you've laid. About as many as the number of punkette trendoids you've notched into the bedpost. I'm sorry if I love you too much. Don't go pulling this shit, okay? I'm not in the mood. Sorry. For what? Oh, for anything I've ever done or will do to you. How did we ever get so fucked up? We thought we were so fucking cool, buying London Calling and Fear of Music the first day they came out. We were totally ready for the world to just end. What a fucking letdown when things just got worse and even duller instead. No future. No future for you. <laughs> God, I'm cold. That's because you're so fucking skinny. No insulation. I've never felt so fat in my entire life. Sarah, don't you know it's passe to make yourself the victim? of an image-obsessed, fetishizing patriarchy? I'm always a step behind the latest trend. I am getting worried about you, Sarah. Just because I have a severe eating disorder? There are worse ways to die. At least I'll be fashionably thin in the casket. That's not funny. Karen Carpenter's out there. Do you guys think about other people when you're having sex? Never. <laughs> okay, occasionally. But when I do, I know it's near the end. I figure if I have to fantasize about someone else to make it, then I ought to be with someone else. Michael, it's the only way to sustain a relationship that lasts longer than 12 hours. My best orgasm ever was with Debbie Reynolds. Well, uh, were you bugging on a sewing machine or something? The singing in the rain was on TV. My fantasies are getting kinkier and kinkier. It's almost frightening. Oh, do tell. No, it's too embarrassing. Greg would die if he knew. Ever wonder what's going through his head? Matter of fact, no. I don't think of anyone else when I'm with Alex. In fact, you know, when I'm with other guys or, or by myself, 
He's often the someone else. He's still got you, doesn't he? No. Let it go. It's all over now. He's fucked you over so many times. I don't like what he does to you. You should see someone new. I don't want another relationship. I mean, what's the point? You meet somebody, you get involved, it's great for a little while, and it just explodes in your face. I don't have the time anymore. That's a healthy attitude. That's the way it is. I don't even know what to do anymore. Well, you can't share a hypothermic needle. Okay. Don't swallow. Talk about our relationship. I can't give meaning to your life. That's way too much for any one person to handle. It's just not possible. survived another night. Another beautiful Southern California day. I noticed. Why is everyone up so fucking early? It's only 1.30. What's she so old to you about? How come the TV isn't on yet? Hey, Michael! 
Uh, you mind drop me off at the store on your way? I'm told we're out of beer. Sure. Okay, if I come along. I need air. I come too? Do you always have to tag along? Sorry, um, I don't care. Forget it. Still, still, I'm choking on it. Sometimes Greg just exasperates me. I mean, I'll be the biggest bitch to him and he'll be so damned understanding in return. Could be you're just testing his feelings for you before you take that next big step. I don't know. I'm just so tired of dealing with it all. I saw this really great graffiti on a bus once. Feel, fuck, forget. Take it from someone who's forgetting. The first two are a lot more fun. Do you think things will ever get better again? No. Fuck. I'm bored. What you doing? Thinking? That girlfriend of yours can be a real charmer. She's moody. I'm used to it. You know how if you stare at something long enough, either it'll eventually bore the hell out of you, or, or you'll figure something out. Or you'll have to get up and take a piss. Let me know when you land back on Earth. I really am sorry. Where's Michael? Said something about going to the record store. Oh. I got you something. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 It doesn't matter, really. Either you see my butthole surface tape. What does he have against the butthole surface?
very exciting. Hey, Mikey. That day at the office, dear. How about some love action, Dave? I've been cooped up here all day taking care of the kid. What the fuck are you on? Me? <laughs> I'm high on life. The joy of being alive in this great, big, wonderful world. I don't want to fight, Alex. What do you want, huh, Michael? I know what you wanted last night. I know what I want. I'm so bored. I'm losing my mind. And what am I supposed to do about it? Entertain you? Keep me fucking company. Don't just disappear and leave me here to play host to your fucking loony friend. I do know what I want. I want everyone to just leave me alone. You got it. Only let me do the ditch now this time. You are so fucked up. I really don't know why I... for you to say sitting around on your spelt apathetic ass. Leia, don't you guys give a shit that this country's following Hitler's step-by-step -step recipe for a Jew barbecue? Or is that insignificant compared to your own existential self-pity? Back off, okay, Leia? What's this little Miss Revolutionary? Mother stopped payment on the credit card? I may be middle class, but at least I'm fucking out there making an effort. Come on, you guys. How am I supposed to take on the world's problems when I'm so incapable of handling my own? Has it ever occurred to you that your own neuroses may not be so fucking important? Leia, what do I have to do? Sing into your room? Fuck you all. You can sit around here bitching and commiserating. I'm sick of it. Hi. Temperamental. I'm pregnant. And Greg doesn't know. Point of no return. Why didn't you? Is it mine? Sarah, Sarah, would you just wait? Sarah, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to say. What do you want to do? This is just a, a real bad time right now. I mean, I mean the responsibilities involved. Will you just listen? This problem, we... I feel really confused. You can get out of it, you know. It's easy enough. 
don't want to. Don't lie. You're scared shitless, admit it. But you aren't trapped. There's no obligation here. You can just walk away from the whole fucking mess. I love you, Sarah. Fuck you. I'm a cigarette. They're girls. I don't smoke anything. At this party once, someone handed me what I thought was a joint. It turned out to be heroin. I was wrecked for days. That kid. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's not a good situation. That's the understatement of the century. You're lucky being gay. I mean, at least you don't have to worry about accidents like this. Just lethal viruses. I guess you're screwed no matter which set of genitalia you find yourself in bed with. You don't mind me asking, how long have you been queer? Since the day I was born, probably. But sociocultural oppression kept my hands off other males till I was 21, no, 22. Actually, the very first time another guy touched me, I was a kid, like six, seven, I, I don't know. It was my cousin, Ralph. It was like 10 or so at the time. <laughs> I remember like, every year at Christmas, my family would take this tour through suburbia, checking out all the decorations in the neighborhood. It was always like this big deal. And, and one year, cousin Ralph comes along. So we were sitting in the station wagon on those fold-up seats in the back. And without a word, Ralph reaches down and starts fondling my dick. I, I mean, Mom and Dad are in the front, ooing and aahing about the Hendrix's lights this year. And Cousin Ralph's sitting there with my pecker in his hand. Ralph's one of those paunchy, polyesterized real estate brokers now. Living in Reseda with a fat wife. And like a dozen bratty kids. Sarah, the first night I met her. I always thought that would be enough to get us through anything. I decided I need to explore the gay side of my personality. Sarah is one of my oldest friends. She's my fiance. Shit! You okay? Oh, fuck. Jesus. Wait. Hey, lover. Aren't you gonna come to my rescue? Asshole.
How could you? How could you just go to a fucking bar, pick up some sled, fuck her, and then come back here to tell me all about it? This is it, Leia. This is really it. Shit. Let's go somewhere to talk about this. I don't... I really want to get out of here and talk about this. Fine. Yeah. It's messy. First time. Not another convert. Don't know. Now what? What, you want to smoke a cigarette or something? <laughs> no. <laughs> Want to do it again? I don't think I can. In that case, let's put our clothes back on and hope no one finds out. You with the head. What are you? I'm on my way to Noggles like every other self respecting citizen at 3 a.m. What are you? Freezing my ass off. I'm dying for a cigarette. You'd feel better if you sunk your teeth into one of these. Want to talk about it? No. You almost done. Don't worry about even pretending to be civil. I was only asking. Look, I just you wouldn't understand. I know what you think of me. You and Rachel both. I don't make excuses for the way I am. I'm sexual. A fucking whore. That doesn't mean I don't feel or care. I'm just irresponsible. That's all. I can't help it. It's Greg. I have to get away from him and everything. It's all like a trap closing in. There's no way out. I'm irresponsible, and you're so responsible of killing you. You're like fucking Michael, carrying the entire world around on your shoulders. I don't pretend everything's okay. I'm not into deluding myself. Well, you enjoy the agony, don't you? Admit it. You thrive on it. It's what lets you know you're alive, just like Michael. You think you're so perceptive that you see it all so lucidly. I have problems like everyone else, okay? The world's a cold, tough place. But I just try to put up with it. So maybe you're better at it than me. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you smile before.
try. Oh, fuck. Just don't mess up the sheets too much, okay? Michael. Michael, would you fucking wait? Taste is in both our mouths. Be fucking stupid. Michael, I know this sounds like bullshit, but if everyone I've ever slept with, you're the only one I've ever. Don't. It's true. I don't care. I don't want to hear it. Would you turn that fucking record over? long it's like this big vacuum where she used to be. This whole thing with Leia, this whole fucking weekend. 
Life in the modern world is hard. Especially when the people you love turn out to be self-centered pricks. As the saying goes, love is a one-letter word spelled I. like him. Do you? Meaning? I don't know what it means. You fucked him too. It's a little different in my case. Yeah? What does anything matter anyway? I think I need to go away for a while. Funny. That's exactly what I was about to say. Alex, I don't know how to... Fuck. Alex, I want you to live here with me. Alex, what do you think would happen if... Fuck. Everything is falling apart all around me, and uh, and I, I don't know what to do. I want to smash a window. I want to drive off a cliff. I want to I want to fuck my own brains out. I want to be helped. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. I can't stand the silence anymore. You'd feel better if you talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I hate this feeling like an intrusion. I came here to see you. Not the city, not the site. You. You don't even know me anymore. Bullshit, Michael. We love you. That doesn't work like it used to. When we were 20, naive, idealistic in college. It made all the difference in the world. But not anymore. Uh, too much has happened. We've grown too old. To deny that fact is just a crazy delusion. And I can't keep on lying like that. Sometimes I feel like I've gotten so fucked up, so alienated, that I can't handle being with people anymore. 
No one can stand being around me. It's like exposure to low-level radiation. Vacationing in Chernobyl. Prolonged contact can be harmful. Fatal, even. So we should all be stuck in isolation capsules as we slowly wither away and die. I can only speak for myself when I say I need time alone. I'm exhausted. I'm not accustomed to so much company for this extended a period. I'm tired of feeling guilty about not keeping everyone entertained. Being responsible for everybody's happiness. You've taken that burden upon yourself. No one's imposed it on you. Regardless, it's there. I can't deal with this much disruption of my routine. I can't wait till you're all gone so I can have my space, my mundane, absurd life back. I'll be able to just sit here in my meager little apartment Smoke a cigarette and listen to the quiet for a while without having to worry about doing anything. I'm sorry, Michael. I'm sorry you feel that way. And I'm sorry for anything I've done that's hurt you. I'm going to miss you, Michael. You'll miss who I used to be. I'll miss who you were, who you are, and who you're going to be. Or are you just going to stand around gawking? Where'd you? Stop it. Shit. Where are you going? Away. You coming or not? Bonnie and Clyde. I see you slept real well, too. What are you doing? No, to Michael. I wanted to at least try. I just don't know what.
got all your stuff together? Yeah. Well, like they say, today is the first day of the rest of our lives. I can't help it. I just see him and all I want to do is touch him so bad. Uh, he won't let me. I think about him all the time whenever we're apart. I can't even remember what it's like being without Rachel. It's like all the shit in the world didn't matter when we held each other. I don't know what's going to happen now. God. I feel like we should say something, do something. Now what? Where to? Home for you, I guess. And you? In six months, the maternity ward. Besides that, I don't know. I really don't know. Well? Bye, Michael.